All right, well, let's start. Hey, guys, how are you? What's going on? This is Bluff City, everyone. I'm so excited to be talking to you guys, honestly. But let's start with the basics, though. Let's start with now. Let's do a mental check-in. How are you guys doing with this whole quarantine? Like, what's going on? Like, I mean, I guess we're doing okay, you know, because we've been trying to, like, really capitalize by then trying to, you know, stay safe at the same time. Right. So we're trying to record and go into the studio and try, trying to pick and choose what times and what day, you know what I'm saying? Because once we get in the studio, we can we can be in the studio every day, you know what I'm saying? So we're just trying to monitor all that. But other than that, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a homebody, so anybody. That's what my thing is. I'm a homebody anyway. So I, I think what got to me was just being told to stay home. Like, don't tell me to stay home. Right, right, but, right. Yeah. I'm yeah, a homebody sure. anyway. But actually, yeah, let's go. Can you guys introduce yourselves? Like, I know I want you to do your Bluff City, Frank, Keem, like, you know, <laughs> the whole rundown. All right, let's start with me, the Gemini, the group on Love Good Trey. And my name's Keem, and I'm a Sagittarius. It's your boy Frank, and I'm a Sag as well. Yeah, together we are. Oh, you guys are uh, Oh, I yeah. love that. Yeah, I appreciate it. I love that. I'm a Gemini. And oh, I Gemini. love the. I love the Sagittarius and Gemini mix. Like, this, we are polar opposites of each other. We're like a, a perfect match. Mm-hmm. So that, yep. that makes sense on why the whole group dynamic is so great. Yep. Um, but I, like I was saying, I was introduced to you guys in 2014. I actually knew of Trevante because Trevante was a solo artist. So we can get into that mm-hmm. later about that whole transition and how everything worked out with that. Um, but mm-hmm. how did you guys all meet? Like, let's start with the basics. Well, uh, but, but like you said, <laughs> Toronto was solo at first, but we were a group already. And then it, it just came to a point to where Ch- Trey hit me up and it was like, shoot, let's try it. You know what I'm saying? After going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Because at first, he liked to tell the story how I, how I kind of curved him at first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you know, after we got through all that, though, um, well, we knew each other through mutual people. We, we were uh, starting to be on the same type of shows and stuff like that. And we had respect for each other's vocals and artistry. So it was super dope. And as soon as he got in, you know what I'm saying, we got the work. Yeah, no, they they were, you know, I was doing my thing as a solo artist, but I was also, um, you know, watching them. I was inspired by what they were doing. You know, uh, you know it was a vibe. It was, it was a whole yeah. different type of vibe. And what people don't know is I never wanted to be a solo artist. I never really cared. I always wanted to be okay. in the group from day one. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of how, how I always envisioned myself, you know, as a creative, you know, inside of a group, you know what I'm saying? So when I saw the fellas and you know, I was like, wow, you guys are dope. And, you know, it just, it, I, I felt like it would match, you know, right? You yeah, know, I, I love that. That's something that's new because I, I've always been curious about that, like going from a solo artist to being inside of a group. That had to have been like a transition for even like you guys who were already kind of formed to bring someone in with this experience. So how receptive receptive right. for you guys to working together. Right, exactly. It was it was mm-hmm. it was different because yep. they already had the things that they were doing. You know what I'm saying? It's right. like, you know, we come from two different worlds, but at the same time it was like respect for each other, you know, mm-hmm. for the culture, for vibes. You know, groups is is on and be groups is the culture is the vibes, you know what I'm saying? So I really was applauded what they were already doing. And I was just like, yo, I wanna be a part, you know what I'm saying? I think because that's because we kinda got the same vibe, the same, you know. Mm-hmm. And it just worked out. You know? I love that. That's amazing. That's what's up. So I was saying how I got introduced to you guys in 2014 when you guys dropped your um, No Type remix. It yeah. was my senior year of high school. Now I just graduated college, and that time went by super, super quick. I think that's time crazy. Quick. For real. Okay. Time went by real fast. So we fast. Didn't know that. Man, that was a while back. That was a really long, and you guys had, so you had four members of in Bluff City, now you're down to three. Can we talk about what, when that happened, when that transition to four well, happened? That transition, like, about a year and a half now. It, it's been about a year and a half now, and, um, you know, it, it, it was just a decision that the other person wanted to do, and we respected it. You know what I'm saying? We had Bluff City team to do what we had to do. We, I think we did Soul Train right after that, and then um, we went on our first tour together, so, um, yeah, it happened about a year and a half ago. Oh wow! Tell me about the first. How? Tell me about the tour. How was the tour? The tour was dope. Great. The tour was dope. And then uh, for this being our second year on the tour, um, 
we got to see the difference in, you know, just the progress that we've made, you know what I'm saying, as entertainers. And yeah. Growth. Yeah, the growth. We got to see the growth. So that was very dope, too. But tour is always fun. I think the only thing that's not kind of fun is the traveling aspect. Because we was on the tour bus for two months. You know what I'm saying? I so, Sagittarius and Geminis liked adventure. So, you know. I love adventure. I love adventure. But I like to be comfortable, too. Being on the tour bus is totally different. <laughs> the tour bus is just different. Now, the traveling part was cool. But, like, you know, it, we, we was on the bus with a lot of people. So, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? As far as being comfortable, eh. But touring, I mean, seeing the different places, that was great. Can you share a crazy a crazy fan story with me? Do we have any of those yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what is this laugh? Uh, what? <laughs> Are you got one? <laughs> Come on, give me some. Something. <laughs> no, keep it. You cracking up a little too hard, though. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's totally it's fun. It's in, it's in but a good toy experience, um, to see, like, you know, <laughs> what's like, crazy? It was funny. I, I, I love the Madden games. That's fun. I love playing everybody. Uh, on my bus, <laughs> I was the winner. Like, nobody could beat me a yeah. Madden king on some like, like, You know what I'm saying? Want a little bit of bread out there. Oh, so that's your game, Madden. You're a Madden player. Okay. And two, no, really, I'm a 2K. But you okay, know I'm about saying? to say, I don't know about Madden. I don't know about much yeah. about football. Yeah. Yeah, 2K, you know, I, I do the 2K, yeah, and I do the Mortal Kombat. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? That's me all day, so. I'm all the way around it. You are all the way around it. See, yeah. I, don't, I don't know nothing about football. I'm a basketball girl. So if you would have, like, gave me mad, and I'm confused on how football even works. Like, so, so you can shoot the ball in the hoop? You know how to shoot the ball in the hoop? Yeah, like, I, I, I like basketball. I watch it with yeah, you, play yeah. it with you. So you, you know how to make a layup. I mean, I wouldn't go too far. If I, I'll probably miss the layup, but I mean, I would try. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> okay. okay. It might not go win, but I'll play. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. But I want to know the story, the name behind the name Bluff City. Where well, Bluff uh, Bluff. Okay, I got you. Break it on down. I'll break it on down real quick. <laughs> so Bluff City. I'm, I'm originally from uh, Memphis, King. Okay. So, um. I just started the group when I was a young man. And before I came out to the A, it was just like, I did all this stuff in me, uh, in Memphis, all this music in Memphis and stuff, and built, kind of building the name and moved out to Atlanta. And it was kind of just putting the city on my back. So I was like, you know, Bluff City. And I talked it over to some people that were like, yeah, Bluff City, you know what I'm saying? So it was, it stuck from then. And it's just, you know, just representing Bluff City. But my brothers are from different, you know, parts of the world. Mm -hmm. I let them, you know what I'm saying? Got the Bull City. Bull City. You got North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? You got H Town, the H, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it, it, it's really more of now just your imagination. Bluff City is a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Bluff City, you know, you might be on Lover's Lane. You know what I'm saying? You might be you might be in my neighborhood or his. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it's different vibes when everything comes together. So. However you feel, you can come to Bluff City. I like that. I like that. I like the whole different representation of Bluff City. Now it's like right. three people, a whole mixture. I like that. Well, who would you say is like the goofiest one in the group? Ooh, goofiest. Goofiest. Who's goofy? Probably me. Probably me. Yeah. Yeah. We all goofy. We all goofy, though. Yeah, I ain't definitely. I, I'm, I'm probably I'm the most consistent dude. Yeah, I'm always the most consistent one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm the most consistent dude. Uh, who's the most romantic though? Oh, probably mm, Lover Boy. It's between Lover Boy. Yeah, Lover Boy. I mean, it's Lover Boy. Lover Boy. Lover Boy. I was just, um, Lover Boy. I was gonna say Francine. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. I can see that, Trey. I can see that, Frank. But what's your story? What what kind of what kind of guy are you, Frank? I'm basically like chill, laid back, mm -hmm. cool time person. You know what I'm saying? I don't really be doing too much. I like to go out club. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of being in the house right now. It's <laughs> killing me. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Killing me. I like being out. You know what I'm saying? I, I really yeah. 
I get it. It's, it's, the, perfect, it's, it's, the, it's the perfect mixture for all of us. You yeah, know I, I can tell that you guys balance each other out pretty yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. And I love exactly. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's we really, really are brothers. You know what I'm saying? We really, you know, we are. We're fighting and the whole nine. Mm-hmm. It's real. It's authentic. I love that. So how do you guys, because I the boy groups are amazing. How do you guys get over the whole stereotype of, you know, the boy groups don't last or like boy groups are X, Y, and Z? What do you guys do that is kind of different or how do you move past that to not allow it to stop what you guys are doing? I mean, basically, we just stick to our guns. We do what we do. Like, we see the bigger picture. Like, we all came in a group together. Um, Basically, it's just like we study. We study a lot of groups. We study. Mm-hmm. Um, we seen the, like how they messed up. We seen the wrongs yeah. they did. You know what I'm saying? They fought. So we know the mistakes not to make. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We learn from that. Yeah. So we different. We got the ear. We know music. Mm-hmm. So you know we gonna continue to give y'all like hits and stuff. But we don't put out no bullshit. Oh, you guys definitely don't put out. You don't have to do that at all. <laughs> um, I was also talking about when I reached out to you guys for the interview, I was saying, like, I noticed the change in growth over the years. Clearly, that's going to be automatic. But you guys have done a lot of things. So now you guys are working with Jacquees, right? Right. That's yeah. cool. So how did that come? You guys were just on his um, R- King of R&B tour. King of R&B tour, yep. Uh-huh. And then you guys are also, one of my favorite songs on the album is, what is it, All I Need? All you need oh, yeah, yeah. That's one of my favorite songs. When it's income one, I'd be like, nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, yeah. Oh, I love that. So how did you get him? Like, that, how'd that work? Um, Actually, what, what are you talking about? Just the song or getting Jacquees? It's like meeting Jacquees and like working oh, okay. with him. How that, tell me about that. Well, yeah, I, well, ooh. I think Trey probably known him longer than me. But I, I know for, uh, for Bluff City, linking up with him, it was like his senior year of high school. And um, th- that's when I just had moved out to um, Atlanta. And we linked up, did some records with him. I don't know if you remember Five Steps. Mm-hmm. Um, our Bed Eye. We did, we did some stuff with him. It's just always been love. You know what I'm saying? So when it was time to go on tour, or when it was time to do Soul Train, he hit us up. And it was like, yeah, we do it. If it's time for a song, you know what I'm saying? Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? It's always been love. Always been bros. That's so, so Trey, you had a relationship with Jacquees too. I guess because around that time frame when you were a solo artist, Jacquees was on the come up. I remember those whole, I was a fangirl a part of those days. So I remember that that time era. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that was pretty much like an automatic. That's cool. So like that's a relate like a brother relationship that you guys have with them. Right, exactly. It's like, exactly. It's like brothers, you know, we respect each other's craft. You know? mm-hmm. I love that. Well, I definitely love that song. And then Tonight is Us, that's my... Yeah, oh I always tell the story about tonight. It's such so funny. Oh yeah, please. So I was, I was, uh, we was on tour, right? Yeah, we, we was on tour. New York. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, we just running around. This is when King of R and B was like come out. Mm-hmm. So you know, running around doing interviews and just you know, mm-hmm. in the city, and you know, we did the show just with no sleep. So yeah. I don't know if you can tell. I got some little, you know. You know, this all, you know, that's because, you know, we're always staying up and, you know, especially I'm always creating and thinking this is a different thing. So I was kind of worn out that day, you know what I'm saying? So I told the bus, hey, now I'm going to go back to the bus and just kind of chill out. You know? And I just, you know, come yeah. to the studio later because they were going to the studio. Mm-hmm. And, you know, before you know it, it was like four o'clock in the morning, man. And I'm waking up and everybody calling me and I'm getting all these face time and missed calls like yo man the record's a hit I'm like what record? <laughs> you know what like, what? <laughs> yeah and I'm fine with it they want me live and they were recording tonight it's us and I'm like oh my god you know what I'm saying like I missed out but you know made up for it it's all good <laughs> you know what I'm saying but that's crazy so yeah, tell me about tell me about like is the studio dynamic between you guys so when you're on the studio like Walk me through. I want to take me through a visual of what it's like being in the studio with Bluff City. What's there? Like, you guys have like a snack that you eat. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I want to know the whole vibe in the studio. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Frank probably going to have some hot, some type of hot chips, some tacky, <laughs> hot fries, some hot, there's some ch- hot Cheetos. Trey going to have some Jolly Ranchers. Okay. Sour, yeah. Some type of candy. I don't know. What's next, girl? 
Charlie Wayne said, I have some hot fries. I love hot fries. But it, it's definitely a vibe in the session with Bluff. I, I feel like what, whatever you do in life, if you, if, like, if you want to just be inspired, I feel like being in a session with us will be pretty dope. Because it's just like we start from the beginning and we go through the whole creative process and create the song and the melodies and just the going back and forth, what, what, what should we put here? I think that people who want to be inspired and love music or just love doing stuff, they should definitely catch a vibe with some session. Yeah, I can already good. imagine. Like, that's why I'm like, I want to walk me through the visual. I want to feel like right now I'm in a studio session. Like, how does it, I just, I, just, I love that. All right, so. Pull up to the studio. Yeah, I'm closing my eyes. Y'all pulling up. <laughs> yeah, you pull up to the studio. You know, it depends on you know the vibe of the room, you know. But we have a certain vibe that we just do anyway. It's just it's it's just this, I can't really explain it. It's just a, it's BC three. Mm -hmm. So we get in the room and you know, the lights have to be a certain certain yeah. way. You know what I'm saying? The, the vibe has to be. All right. So what's the lights gotta be like? You know, I need details. Yeah, yeah. Like, like real dim, not all dim. Yeah. And um, that's right. And we love what well, the studio we work out of, UED Studios. They got the little, uh, you know, the, the blue lights, the different yeah. lights in there. LED. So, uh -huh. LED lights, you know what I'm saying? Piano so, the yeah, piano in the other room so we can see the piano. So, it's definitely dim lights, the LED lights shine in different colors, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the vibe is, it's definitely good. Sometimes, you know, we'll. Um, Play certain records, yeah. you know, in, in our vibe, in our zone, sing some play or something. Mm -hmm. Do you guys like warm up? Is there, is there a warm up? He says a, a warm up song? Yeah. Warm up song for uh, cheers. Yeah, cheers. 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 Yeah. So that's a whole nother vibe, too. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Cheers? Yeah, cheers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So what you do is we'll be, we'll be backstage, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, we say a prayer, mm -hmm. you know, after that, whatever city we in, my brother will say the city, mm -hmm. you, know, like, Are you, in? you know, just uh, it's a different vibe, okay. And then we stomp our feet, right? So we go, Oh, cheers to you for giving me a chance, I'll be your. The guardian man, cheers to you for giving me a chance. I'll be your angel, the guardian man. And it would do that. Like, how you ready to say well, Paul, you? can you not like just talk to me normal like y'all just like I'm trying to pick myself back up from melting. What? That's crazy. You guys sound amazing. Okay, so go ahead. So after that, what happened? Yeah, so that's kind of like the vibe in the studio. Mm -hmm. We'll just start singing. We'll just start. You know, that's how we kind of get the juices flowing. You know, mm -hmm. play some stuff that we're inspired by. Go through some, you know, unreleased songs and never cases. Like, all right, and then we kind of start. Do you guys, are you guys like good with, do you guys complete an actual song or do you kind of like start, stop, pick it up later? Or will you sit there and complete a whole song? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I think 90, 80% of the time we finish it. We finish it, we yeah. finish it out. Yeah. So how it's long very, does it rare. take to create the new album? Ooh, good question. How long did it take? She felt like it took a while. Oh, you guys have 14 tracks. On yeah, this album. Yeah, so, yeah. That was about a year of work, at least. That was like a year of work. Yeah, and it felt like that because, you know, we've never put out a, a complete body of work mm -hmm. like the way we wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We had a project within the streets back in the day, but it just wasn't the way we, we wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and it's our first project, not to cut my brother off, but it's our first project on, um, all streaming sites, so like the Spotify and the Apple Music. Um, actually, yeah, Apple Music's all of it, so it's, it's our first one. That's pretty big, so how does that feel? How does it feel to have something completed, though? Like, you have this something that you've been working on for a long time, and now it's out. Right. How are the fans responding to this? Exactly. It, it, it feels dope because we've been, like, 
ready to let people hear a project for a while, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, and um, it's just a relief, you know what I'm saying? Now it feels like you can just on to the next, on to the next on momentum, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Next project. Next project, and it's just like, now we can feel that feeling we, we had when we started BC3 off. Right. So BC3, that's just Bluff City. So what, that, what was the thought behind the name for the album? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, BC3 is just Bluff City 3. You know what I'm saying? It's the three of us. It's all of our emotions, all of our thoughts, mm -hmm. uh, situations, you know what I'm saying? And it's just put to one, you know what I'm saying? It, it really wasn't one type of dynamic we were trying to go, you know what I'm saying? Because right. we're all different. Right. And, and, we, and when we made BC3, we was just in a mindset of just being us. Right. Yeah, like you said, the musical ranger. So it was just like, let's just go in there and just talk about whatever we do. So what this uh, album, we sorry to cut you off. Did I cut you off? Are you finished? Are you no, no, you're good. You're good. Okay. What is the message you guys are trying to convey to your to the audience? Like the people who don't even know you. So I'm just meeting BC3 for the first time. What am I expecting? You know what I mean? Like what's the perception? What are you trying to give out? Right. The perception is to take off the perception. Okay, amen. amen. Yeah. And, um, you know, really for us, we're products of the environment we grew up around. We're, we're products of the music and the culture. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know about you, but all that was my show. You feel me? I don't know about you, but I rocked the King and the Kel and all these different things. And I turned to 106 and Park and I'm seeing B2K or whoever, you know, and I'm just like, wow, you know, like, that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like we all, in our own different way, carry that kind of essence mm -hmm. of the culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to groups, you know, from the, you know, Black Streets, the Josies, the 112, the Jagged Edge, you know, and then, you know, the NSYNCs and, the, you know, just Backstreet Boys, Backstreet Boys and just whatever, like culture itself. We are the culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We are that. And BC3 represents that. So we're trying to we're telling you to let's let's remember what the culture is, and now it's it's the new way. And we're the new way. Awesome. We are. The Do you guys agree that kind of like now in today's time, there's not a lot of R and B music out? Um, I feel like it's a lot of R and B music out, but it's just not. People are not promoting. Is it not okay? So I, I guess to rephrase that question, because I know I listen to some R and B music that's not mainstream mm -hmm. or on the radio that right, people really right, know right. about. So I guess, like in the mainstream world, on the radios, it's not the same type of R and B vibe that we have. Right, seen. right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. The ballads. Yeah, I don't. I haven't heard a ballad in a while. I don't. I mean, I really listen to the radio, but when I get on the radio, I rarely hear ballads. Um, but yeah, it's just not as strong as it used to be, especially on the radio air, airways. I just put it out there. Yeah, for sure. So you guys are like a combination, like Trevante was saying, with the whole. All the cultures you have the mm -hmm. mixture of the instinct, the Jodeci, the Drew Hill, mm -hmm. like you guys are just that balance and that just that influence all in all. I wanted to ask you about your um, well, I guess my first question would be like, is there a song that you guys enjoyed making the most? Each of you, I know you guys probably have different mm -hmm. songs, but like a favorite song off the project mm -hmm. from all of your perspectives. Mm -hmm. Favorite song, mine would probably be. Either my or a bed or a girl. It doesn't seem good. Mine probably be girl. Pr uh, pressure. Oh, pressure Hey, I don't know, man. That's I mean, you don't have to pick a favorite because I know as an artist, like your music is your baby, all of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I mean yeah, but those two probably stick. They well, they, those two stick out right now. Tomorrow, I mean, you know, so you might be able to one tomorrow. I'm open to that. You said what? Well, I'm sorry. Say again. No, I said I know. So tomorrow it might be different. I'm, I'll take right, that. Yeah, now yeah, it's yeah, exactly. So what's one stick out to you right now? So yeah. Yeah, I like bed. Trey like bed. Yeah. I don't I wanted to talk to you about girl. I love that song. I think I love yeah, the street yeah. dynamic of it. It reminds me of like a modern um B2K, what a girl wants, or like same yeah. girl Kelly. Is there a truth to any of the songs? Who was <laughs> who was doing this? What's going on? <laughs> I 
I mean, one one thing about I'll say one thing. About and, and, and we oh, not to cut yeah. him off. Uh, and before you start, we've been a group for six, seven <laughs> years. Now, right? <laughs> We're brothers, you know, yeah. and we and we creators, you know. So mm -hmm. we like to tap into some we, realness. We tap into like you know. Yes. It ain't nothing fake. <laughs> yeah, like it was just a vibe, honestly. You know, my brother was talking, you know, and. and as we do, you know, right to right. Right. Awake and so like music should tell a story. Yeah. Right. Tell y'all a story. Mm -hmm. Real talk. Yeah, tell a story. I love that. I love a story and a song. I was listening to it. I'm like following it and visualizing it. And I'm like, oh, this is crazy. Like mm -hmm. the conversation between you guys. You know what I mean? I right. Think, I thought that was super dope. So what was, I guess, the idea behind just doing that in general? Telling that story and having that conversation on it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, right here. Jeez. <laughs> yes. Um, no, well, basically, like I was saying, that conversation that I was having with my brother, you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, yeah, you're crazy. And then it, my will just kind of started, you know, I love that. kind of painting this picture, you know, and what was already there, you know, mm -hmm. so. Right, the conversation. I just like the whole conversation dynamic, because you could have just listened to the story right. and put the song off of it, but it was like mm -hmm. that. Right. Talk, a feedback. I thought that was, that yeah, because yeah, we're because we're a group, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, and it's like you'd be surprised, like if you was were to live with us and see how we are around each other and mm -hmm. you know the whole thing. It's like we wake up singing, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, so it's just like you know we just doing what we do. That was another question, like the dynamic between you guys. So in the house, like when you guys are together, what's it like? Like what's a day with Bluff City? So I wake up, I'm on the couch, y'all come out the room. <laughs> <Somebody's sitting. laughs> yeah, if you live in Bluff, yeah. But like it, it is crazy that you said that because we've actually had like, even just joking around, like had singing conversations, mm -hmm. just joking around with each other. So for us to really do it, put on wax, it's kind of, it's just yeah. probably good. Yeah. But a day with us, I mean, wake up, you'll wake up to some carpet. Yes, yeah, it's, it's different vibes in different rooms. Different vibes. Wow. Different vibes, different rooms. Wait, so can y'all explain y'all vibe? I can't go out with that answer. So, Frank, what's your vibe in your room? Yeah, yeah I'll be listening to some Jodeci. I'll wake up listening to some Jodeci. Okay. Kim? Um, man, I don't know, man. Uh, I'll probably listen to some... Some old school, some mm -hmm. some old, some bottle of water making stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it trace it with carpenters. Yeah, it depends. You know, sometimes the carpenter. Trey has stages. You gotta stop. <laughs> he 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 have like like how I said we we might have a list right now and tomorrow it'd be different. He will have that with this <laughs> artist and we got all these different personalities. And then we always beat him. He keeps saying this. <laughs> it's, hey, we always meet everybody trading bring trading studies, but it's just dope. Yeah. <laughs> so when you guys used to do live, I remember the blog, though you guys used to do blogs on YouTube. Are y'all bringing those? Oh, Maybe. We me too. Yeah, we're, we're about to. It's about to be a lot of stuff that y'all about to see from Bluff City. It's um, like I said, this, this project is just the first step of what's about to come. So we got blogs, videos, music videos. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was gonna ask you about that, but I was I was already kind of assuming that because of what was going on, that would kind of be on the back hole. But you guys already had that kind of planned out already. Yeah, I mean, but we definitely want to be safe while we're doing it, but we definitely want to get content out. And then we're in Atlanta. They just open that you know, Oh, really? Oh, right. <laughs> so how? But I'm not, I'm not saying that, that to go out there. Cause we still be, be we precautious. Don't we don't condone. Are you, so you guys like? Are you guys open? Open or is it just like a? Some things are open. Some things are. I heard like they're opening clubs at the end of the month. So when it gets there, yeah, I know a strip club open next week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow. Next week. <laughs> Next week. I wonder if it's going to be packed in there. I'm here. We ready. You said well, sir? I, I wonder if it's going to be packed in the strip club next week. Yes. And let the people are ready. Everybody going to be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and let the only place with you the mask on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's yeah. crazy. That's a lot. We got to go. <laughs> you going to go? 
Y'all yeah. say y'all gonna go? Uh, <laughs> yes, not, not right now. We're gonna let the, the first uh, the first group go for like a month. <laughs> and then y'all go out. <laughs> yeah, we'll follow it, yeah. That's hilarious, though. That's so funny. So, okay, also with this album, a lot of these songs are sexual. Yeah. Super, super. So who, like... I'm guessing that's an idea from all of you guys, but you're melting the lady. So what's going on? Whose idea was it to make all these songs super duper sexual? Well, I guess although we are three different people, and we you know we, we are different in w- different ways, it's one thing among others that I know for sure that we are in sync on, and that's just some freaks. You know, but at the same time, um, but look, it's beautiful. Though. Yeah, it's it's you know, again, we're creatives and we and we just do what we feel. I don't think it was anyone's like idea, like yeah, let's go make a sex album, right? You know what I'm but it was just the vibes, you know, mm-hmm. you know, vibes, you know? and just right. it, you know, that was just the the state that we were in, you know. But then, like you say, we have records like Girl mm-hmm. and you know, All so, I Want. You know, say I do. You know, so it's it's kind of like a well rounded out. You know, it definitely yeah. is. I love the album. I think it's super duper dope. But I guess that brings me to the next question. Of course, your female fans will want to know. So, are you guys dating? Are you guys single? What's what's the, what's the tea? What's the relationship stats? Um, I'm single. Nobody else said anything. Y'all got situationships. What's tea? What's going on? Oh, man, you know, it's just, <laughs> you know, it's just, um, honestly, I think it's just finding somebody who can understand, you know, our world, understand what we have going on, because we're always in the studio, we're all, like, I know it's speaking for me, specifically, I'm always just thinking different things, so I don't, I would have to have someone who's very understanding, you know what I'm saying, and, open to a lot of things because you know I'm lover boy. You know, lover boy Trey. And mm-hmm. and it's a it's a different meaning than just the name, you know. You know, it's just, you know, we'll talk about that when we get to love his name, you know. That's so funny. Okay. Okay. Frank, what's going on? <laughs> you you didn't say nothing you put a mask on and shut it out. I'm chilling at the moment. Chilling. What does that mean? You know, like I feel like when guys say that, like, what is it? Can you tell me as a guy from a guy's Frank? I'm not even trying to put you on the spot, but as a guy's perspective, when a guy says he's chilling, what does that mean? Um, I guess he's just feeling it out, really. You know how? I don't know. I guess he's just feeling it out. So he's like playing the field a little bit. No. No, I, I, I think, I think we're out. different. We, we, we like, you know what I'm saying? We have very creative minds. So it's just like, our music is just. We yeah, focus on the music. That's our baby. Yeah, that's our baby. That's what we married to. That's a cute answer. Okay, so if there was an idea of having a relationship, what would be your ideal girl? So Trey said, someone who's super understanding and open minded. Team with yours. Right. Um, definitely understanding somebody trustworthy somebody um definitely that i know they're that we know each other's love language you know what i'm saying it kind of that knowing that i think that kind of you know make things a lot a lot easier that helps a lot you know what i'm saying and just you know somebody's fun and outgoing you know what i'm saying somebody that like watching movies all day and shit like that mm-hmm. uh, Someone that's loving, caring, smart. Uh, someone that could be my best friend. Yeah. Somebody I could talk to, tell them, you know what I'm saying, certain things. Thank you, guys. That's super cute. I'm going to have to post that so the ladies know what's going on. <laughs> that's cool. So can you share with me, like, some fun fan stories? Fan stories. Yeah. It's a fun 
it's been some heartwarming ones. I, we I had some heartwarming one. Something that's I know somebody remember when we had the show and Nikki and girl was crying? That was very hard. She was crying. We were like, what? You, you know what it is? I, I think it's like when we go on tour or we on stage, period. It's like we zone out, we go to a different world. And mm-hmm. We don't even know the things that happen until like later on, you know, or like the vibes. Okay, like, that makes sense. So, so it's, it's a little different, you know what I'm saying? So we had, you know, a lot of moments that was just like, okay, that's the only part, you know what I'm saying? Very, you know, inspiring. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, we, we've had the, uh, Oh, we got chased inside that RV in um, Texas. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got Trey. Trey got stuck out in the crowd. They got him. Wow, that was real dope. That was real dope. How does that feel? Like as an artist, have people crying when they meet you, or like to have people wanting to chase you to talk to you? Like, how does that feel? That has to be like um, an amazing feeling. I mean, creepy, crazy sometimes, but like overall, (laughs) like oh wow. I, it's 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 definitely a different type of feeling, but you know I think we're we're all we all can say we, we're grateful for it, you know what I'm saying because it's all we ever wanted. I mean this is a part of our job, you know what I'm saying? It's a part of what what we've seen, in, like in the future wise. Like when we were younger, we was like, okay, we want people to run after us, you know, because we we looked at the Michael the Jackson Fives and them running from the fans, you know what I'm saying? So it, I think it's it's pretty dope. We're good. That's great. How's the feedback from your fans about the new album? I know it just mm-hmm. dropped, but so far, what? How are people responding to it? Hey, they love it. Feedback. It's it's super dope. And this is just the beginning. It's right. just you know, it's yeah. just our first project. Mm-hmm. It's our first project, and we ain't, we ain't putting no videos out yet. So it's just like it's exciting to know that we have so much to do. Yeah. yeah. So we have so much to look forward to, and we get to share it with the people that's been rocking with us for the longest. So and we have a lot of newcomers that came in too. So it's it's dope. That is it's definitely dope. And that, like for our first project, fourteen songs. That's right. lit. That's bomb. Right. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm excited. When I got the um, I think the night that you guys dropped it. You guys dropped it at nighttime, right? Was it night or what was it? Yeah, it, it, it like we were surprised. As a matter of fact, somebody told us that it dropped. And then it was I got to like, speak from your promo team. And I was like, an album? I got so excited. Like, he immediately went to it. I dropped everything I was doing to go listen to this album. And I was like, wow. Like, yeah, we knew it was coming out. You know, mm-hmm. we just didn't know it was coming out that It's like, whoa, okay. Like, yeah. It was almost like, oh, it's out now. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, that, you know. But it felt good because, yeah. yeah, we put a lot of, you know, Time and energy too. Mm-hmm. You know, shout out to you know K Major and you know everybody who's yeah. you know part of it. Twelve oh one exclusive. Oh, mm-hmm. J Scale, everybody. Man. Yeah. That's super uh, exciting. So, what as Bluff City fans do we have looking forward to next? We have this new album. Right. What's the? I guess how soon should we be looking forward to the next thing, or what will the next thing be? Well, I got to speak on behalf of. Mm-hmm. BC3 say, you know, we, um, we're we working on the next one already. You know. Already? Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. the next one will be called Two Sages in the Gym Yep. And that'll be out soon. It'll be out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, so what's the dynamic of the Two Sages in the Gym going to be? Is it like, what, a, what am I, what can I expect from this? Uh, uh, can we say a little more personal? Absolutely. Uh, a, a little, a, I think it's a little bit more personal. You getting kind of to, like, kind of, you, you, you know, you kind of getting to know Frank, Trey, me. You know, what I'm saying all in one. You know, it's get a little, a little more personal. Like how, how it works. You know, mm-hmm. how you kind of I'm excited about this. I mean, uh, I love this album too, of course. But I'm excited for this personal level of meeting. Exactly. Love exactly. And, and uh, that's that's one thing about us. We feel like. Um, we're not really a group to be boxed in. Right. We can do we can do all type of records, all type of you know what I'm saying. We can't, we can't be boxed in. So I think that's what's dope about us is we can go to have like a fun sexual type album. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. And then we can have a personal album. Then we can have this type of album, this type of album. And I think our versatility really just sets us apart. 
it's a great balance for being in the music business these days in general. So I think that that's super. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. Well, you guys are amazing. I appreciate you so much for your time. Thank, Thank you, so you so much. much. I'm so excited to push this out. And thank you guys so much. I can't wait to be so excited for this. I really appreciate this. Thank you so much. Ho hopefully we can do another one where we drop some more stuff. And just, yeah. you know we'll have to do an Instagram live next time. And yeah, we can do IG live. Yeah, we can do IG live. That'd be dope. I think so. Thank yeah, let's, let's do that. So thank you. I hope you have a great night. No strip clubs next week. No, nah, no strip clubs. No, nah, we're chilling. We'll probably be working. We'll be working. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Well, yes. I can't wait to see what comes out next. We can plan our next our next combo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good night.